fish on. Another one, guys. What's up, everybody? Chat Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. Today, I am fishing this creek here. It's a little flooded. Uh, we've had a lot of rain in the area, so I thought, why not try to do some creek fishing? I'm going to fish along this stretch here from the bank. I didn't bring my waders, so I'll be bank fishing this creek, and I'll be making my way around and see if we can get some bluegill. Uh, right now, my river is pretty hard to fish. We've had a lot of rain the past few weeks. The floodgates are open below the dam, and it's just not safe to be out there. And it's been three weeks since I've been fishing. Oh yeah, oh, we just had a bite. All right guys, I had some hits here, but I'm gonna move down just a little bit and see if I can get more action and see if we can find bigger bluegill. Um, sometimes it's hard to find bluegill and other bait during the winter time. And because we've had a lot of rain, the creeks can get really good as a lot of the shad and skipjack and other bait fish move in the creeks to get out of the heavy current. But I've fished this creek before with decent success. But uh, this creek, I guess, feeds right into the river. This would be a good creek to wade in. There's a little bit of current right there. Let's see if we can find something. Fish on. Wow, guys, look at that. Look at this fish. This is what I was saying, guys, as far as bait fish is concerned. I guess that's a shiner, but look at that. Beautiful fish. If you know what kind of minnow or fish this is, please comment. But this is what I was saying. When you get a lot of rain, when you get a good rain, fish the creeks for bait because a lot of them will move into schools and they'll move into the backwaters where the current's not as strong. Fish on. Another one, guys. Now, I'm not gonna be bringing any home I'm just gonna catch maybe one more fish here and then make my way further down. Fish on guys, look at that. Now these are small fish guys, but really good size to use for catfish. See if we can get one more fish here. I'm gonna cast against the current and let my bait just kind of move down with the current. Fish on. Nice sunfish here. Look at that little fish. Beautiful too, look at the tail. 
sometimes it's just fun guys coming out here in a creek and catching these fish i'm gonna go ahead and make my way down this creek here if you guys have never done creek fishing and you just want to get away from the river fish a creek because one there's a lot of diversity in creeks and two it's just a great way to connect with your surroundings and nature in some ways i think it's more peaceful than fishing on the river of course it depends on what river you're fishing too but uh there's really no big technique when fishing creeks just throwing the bait out there and see here's another one comment below what kind of fish this is if you fish creeks especially if you're going for panfish use light tackle i'm using a micro ultralight rod and how you fish these areas is fish some deeper pockets you can see the rocks right here very shallow and then there's some deeper pockets just right beyond it so i typically look for the deeper pools deeper pockets some slow moving water some eddies uh current breaks like right here is a little current break of course it's really shallow right now um see if we can find one in, in this little pocket here Looks like I got a leaf on that one. Anyway, I'm just going to keep moving down. Now over here, it looks really good to catch fish. You have the main current coming downstream. You can see the, the ripples on top of the water, or the bubbles are. And then look at this. It moves down in here, and then it creates like a back current. Or like a reverse current so i'm gonna fish it i'm thinking there's fish down in there and plus there's a big tree kind of overhanging down and uh, i know there's a tree limb or a branch sticking out of the water so maybe we can get a fish out of here and these are things that i look for when i fish in creeks let's see here oh yeah just got a bite a lot of small fish in the area, but they're hanging in that back current over there. Fish on. And that's what I was saying. Now, they're small fish, but these fish are super fun to catch look at that but this is a good area i can already tell just how the way the the water's moving creating that kind of reverse current there or it looks like it kind of circles around then goes back out but this area here is where the reverse back current is I only have one hook. I, don't, I didn't bring my tackle. So if I lose this hook or get snagged, that's it for me. Fish on. Oh, just, just had a fish. I may have took my bait. Oh, fish on. Like I was saying, just a lot of small fish in the area. But very fun to catch regardless fish on this one's a tad bit bigger
Fish on. See guys, it's like every cast almost now. And these fish are getting a tad bit bigger. Look at that. Beautiful fish. And I'm just using a night crawler, split it into four pieces, and I have it on a, a jig head hook. This is four pound test line with a Shakespeare micro series ultralight rod, real combo. This is the rod I use to get bait, but we're not taking home any fish. This is just for fun and to show you guys how fun it can be. Let's get one more fish here and then move down. It, oh, that was a nice hit. Oh. But I'm freelining it. I have no sinker, no split shot whatsoever. I'm just letting the bait move in that current, which is why I like to use light line and light tackle in these conditions. It's very conducive to the type of fishing we're doing. Fish on. Oh, he came off. Here's the size we're using as far as a night crawler. Maybe like inch and a half, two inches. Oh, oh, man, these fish are hitting hard. We're chasing it, though. That's the thing about bluegill and sunfish, especially the green sunfish. They're super aggressive, and they hit really hard. Fish on. But look how aggressive these fish are. I mean, they don't mess around. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Alrighty guys, so let's move down this creek here and see if we can find a few more spots. And that's the good thing because if I wanna to try to get bait and go catfishing, this is a creek that I can go to. Now here's another area that looks interesting is this. There's a down tree, a lot of structure. That can be good and bad. Good because fish will be attracted to it. Bad if you get snagged. But it looks good for me to fish. And right on the other side of this down tree would be good to fish too. Bad thing is you would have to get your fish over this tree unless you were fishing on the other side. But let's see if there's anything just right out in front of me here. There may be something. Oh, there is. There is fish here. There are fish here. Fish on, guys. Yep, there is fish everywhere in here. Everywhere in here there are fish. Now this is a bluegill. A very nice fish. Good size for flatheads. A two pound flathead will devour this fish. But uh, good to see that there's fish in here. Get right up in that structure a little bit. Oh, fish on. It's really good to have variety in here too. I mean, this is a good variety to have. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to make my way down. 
Looks like the creek at some point was all the way up to here. And here's a bridge. Now this bridge, I know 100% is holding fish. Fish on guys, fish on. Got one last piece of bait on. I'm gonna try one more spot. Oh yeah. Now guys, look at this. Very calm water. Uh, I would definitely think there's fish right in here. 100%. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, came off. Fish on, guys. Fish on. This would be a very good catfish bait uh yeah a couple right in here and then i just kind of made my way just fishing the creek along the bank here so yeah man not bad not bad yeah yeah there's some good ones in there and they're like all about this size i mean they're small but they're still fun to catch Fish on. Yeah, not a bad one. Not a bad one. Fish on. We're going to end on this fish, guys. And uh, I really hope this video kind of gave you an idea of what to look for when fishing in creeks. And then obviously over here is a good place to catch some fish as well. I actually caught a yellow perch here two years ago, or the first time I came here, which was November of 2016, I caught a yellow perch and it was a nice one. So yeah, guys, I hope this information helped you catch fish in creeks. Like I told you, fishing uh, deeper pools, fishing current breaks, fishing uh, in little eddies of slower moving water. And just kind of experiment out there and figure out what works and that will only help you figure out a pattern that you can get on to catch fish in creeks. And if you're needing catfish bait, and you're having a hard time getting bait on the river, fish the creeks. Because the fish that I was catching here would be great bait for blues, channels, and flatheads. So, and I'll be out on the river, guys, probably in the next week or so, once the river starts to calm down and the current is not outrageous and not so dangerous, I'll get out there again and start doing some catfishing. But as always, guys, give a thumbs up for this video. And we'll see you later.